Hey everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood. Bring another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm over at my friend's house on Upper Crooked Lake, just about all in Delt, Michigan. Probably 10 minute drive from me. I know uh, Adventure no or Roads knows where it's at. But anyway, what we have here is this dead maple tree that's down here on their beach and blocking their view. And they said for me to come over here take it down the best safest way possible at first i was from what i remember from last time i thought it was going to fall into the lake and then i'd have to uh drag it out and piece it up but what i'm going to do is drop it drop it in between these two bushes that's the plan hopefully it's not tall enough to hit the tripod because that's where the camera i'm going to set you guys up with the camera so and then i'm going to cut it into firewood cut the brush into manageable pieces and they are gonna they're gonna do the hauling away as a way to save money plus i don't have a, any way to uh any way to move the wood without a truck i thought about i go through these bushes i thought about having the king of firewood help me but uh I'm running low on money I only sold one truckload this week so uh i'll do it myself it shouldn't take more than I would say this video might be a half hour long, 20 minutes. We'll see how it goes. You can see I'm wearing the, the microphone again. I think that's a pretty good angle. Let me head down there. I already warmed up the saw, so that should be good to go. Stay out of these prickers here. Come down the hill. Try not to fall down in the sand. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, cut, the, I'm gonna cut the stump as low as I can to the ground but there's going to be a stump there so let me put on the helmet uh, i guess i did forget my gloves but uh don't really need those until the the br i'm going to move the brush over there so i might go grab it after that but i'll probably end the video by then so all right let's get this party started <laughs> Do the face cut right here. Try to one third in. One third on the front on the face. Chains a little bit. You can imagine that. All right, I think we're ready to go. Mark it so I get above it. That side. Almost got some kick back there. All right, get it done. Looking. How's the aim? All right, looks dead on. All right, let's hope it don't hit that. Let's hope it don't hit that camera. There she goes. Oh, it hit it. It nicked it, but it didn't uh, didn't move too much. I'll have to show you the notch. The logger L can give us a rating of it. I'll start piecing it out. <laughs> Buck these 16 inches like normal. You can see, even though this thing's dead, it's holding a lot of water. It's gonna still need some some time to dry. I'm gonna take care of the stump while I'm down here. There's the 
there's one. one chunk. Oop, hit the kill switch by accident. Sometimes that happens. Oh. All right, do another cut. Got to fire it up again, though. Told him I get it best possible. <laughs> Punched over. I stepped on my shoelace. Now that's untied. Not too bad. All right. Let's start cutting some of this, these branches up. Because I'll start right here. <laughs> I say I'm just gonna throw them over there. I have to get this out of the way. Now that's out of the way. I can throw these better. I want to cut them too small. If I cut them too short. They're gonna be making a hundred trips but it's not, this one it's nice having a helper they have to constantly stop and throw the brush so it doesn't pile up and I'm tripping over it taking the branches off first because uh, the uh, log is solid you start at the log end and when you start into that small stuff it moves around but I'm glad I came out here early it's about 10 30 a.m. on a Saturday and uh, still cloudy but by this afternoon, they're saying sunny in 87. Which, I wouldn't want to be doing this in that type of weather. I'd say right now it's probably like 75, humid. These out of the way, starting to make some progress here. And see, see what we're doing. It's like some of these branches broke off when they hit the ground. 
Less cutting for me. That means less cutting for me. Less cutting for Jill. I don't know, this month might need to be cut in half. There's a neighbor, my friends are the neighbors right there and they're like, they're gonna drag it out to the, behind their uh, garage across the street. Probably burn it up down there. And no, I'm not doing it just for the firewood, obviously. They are, uh, they're keeping the wood, they're doing the hauling. I'm just getting it so they can move it. They have a gas propane fire pit, but they don't like it. They're going back to uh, regular firewood. So imagine they might just, they'll probably keep the firewood. Go. Out. <laughs> Cam camera fell over. Guess I'll have to edit that out. There. Wonder how long that was down. All right, back to work. Game playing's over. They can handle the little twigs. I, I'll throw the big branches over there. Let me get them all cut first. Uh -oh. <sighs> uh -oh. 